Hey everybody, it's Josh with Talk About Trek, and today we're going to do something completely different, and we are going to play the first 20 minutes or so, because that's about all the time that I have right now, of the Star Trek Resurgence game, which has just released. And I'll be playing this on PC, of course, and I hope that the sound is good and you guys can hear everything, because I truthfully don't know much about how to do this. So, we're diving in. So let's pick an empty slot here, and let's begin. I've never played any of the Telltale Light games, so this whole style of game is new to me as well, so. Oh boy, Star Trek. Captain's log, Stardate 57931.4. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, we're finally about to venture out on a new mission. And the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am. Perhaps more than any of them. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy. Nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, change is good. Our new first officer is en route to the Resolute. Jara Raiden. We know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. No problem. I, uh, I'm not great with flying. But these little shuttles are the worst. Stick around in Starfleet and you'll be sure to see worse than this. I have. And you're here to talk about it. In the flesh. That's good. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the Starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. So am I. Ooh, it won't be easy for Chara to step in at the 11th hour like this. But if she's half the officer I knew she could become when she was a cadet at Starfleet Academy, she'll be the XO this ship needs right now. how this even plays. Do we get to walk around the ship? <gasps> oh goodness, we do. <sighs> We're aboard. Aboard the Resolute, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, it looks tight. A starbase on the very edge no, of Federation No, we're aboard space. the Starbase, sorry. Long way from home now. Here we go.
Commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck, by the way. I actually did well at the Academy. Oh, yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris 5. Whoa, tough Anyway, I finished in the top 20. Not just in my class. I, I mean, all time. In the history of the Academy. All right, make him feel really? good. That's quite impressive. Thank Very you. impressive. It was tough. But, you know, I set my mind to it, and it paid off. Hmm. I have a bad feeling I'm going to get that guy killed. Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. Point and click. Welcome, Commander Rydek. Wait, you're Jara Rydek? You absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. You, you finished in what, like the top three? That would be me. <laughs> now I'm really... I like it, it's an honor so to meet you, Commander. Sorry, I, I didn't realize before. I, I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. The pleasure is mine, Ensign... But Paul Calloway. Good to meet you. I believe Commander Erlon is expecting film. you. He's in the concourse just ahead. See you on the Resolute. Okay. Find Commander Ermot. What do we got here? We are here. Ooh, I can go fast. Good day, Commander. Good day, Ensign. Storm report. Look at that. Ion storms in the area. Uh, wish I could make this look better. Ooh, is that us? There it is. USS Resolute. NCC 92137, maybe? Oh, there's our star base. Oh, man. This is just so cool to be playing a Star Trek game. All right, Commander Ermot might be if hanging I around remember in my here. Briefing, Commander Ermot is a Bolian, so I'm looking for someone with blue skin. Ooh, who's this guy? Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm just. Well, I'm not sure where my departure dock is. The Resolute's gonna leave without me. Look here, the Resolute is leaving from this dock. Terminal Four, oh, bro. Right. Nerves must be getting to me. It's okay, man. <laughs> Thanks so much, Commander. Happy to help, Ensign. Oh, this is cool. Just chilling. Ooh, look at these two. Hello. Excuse me. Have you seen a Bolian around here? Yes, sir. Right back there, near the replicator. Oh, there he is. Ah, there he is. Thank you. Happy to help, Commander. Who else can we talk to? Ooh, if we look at this thing. Examine Starbase information. Starbase 128 has four docks. Yep. What's this? I'll replicate myself a meal once I'm on board. What we got here? We got a purple person. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Did you hear the Resolute's getting a new first officer? Someone from the crew got promoted? No, get this. They're from a different ship. Hmm. Wonder how the crew feel about that. I think they'll be fine with it. The crew that bad? Yeah. What? Talking about my crew? Bro. Alright, here's our commander. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydek. I'm Commander Jan Ermont, operations officer on the Resolute. Commander? I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm isn't making anything easy for us right now. It was a bit bumpy, but otherwise okay. Oh, my apologies. This storm is unlike anything I've seen before.
We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. From everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our little research vessel. What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the Academy. Received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Most recently, tactical officer and chief of security on the USS Endeavor. You've done your homework. Like I said, we're very lucky. There she is. The USS Resident. She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. And she doesn't look so bad, considering six months ago, she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma, fighting for her life. It was an accident? The equipment malfunction. An accident suggests fault, but no one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its limits. It destabilized the dilithium, there was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but... It was more than she could handle. Cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. Oh, man. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. That's what it means to be a crew. I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It does weigh heavy. There are some things you can't forget. It's been six months. What's the attitude among the crew now? Unsettled. But I hope that a new mission will help them move forward. If not, move on. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solano for quite some time. And I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the Captain announced you would be the new First Officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake. That he should have promoted from within. So you might want to tread lightly first. Until they I come to value your contributions as much as he does. Trust is earned. And it sounds like I have my work cut out for me. But I plan on winning them over. We I can don't do doubt it. that. I just figured it was better to know what you were walking into. Of course. Starfleet has assigned us a high priority mission to the Hotari region. Right, let's see. Ah, okay. So we've got Commander Ermat. We made a good impression with Commander Ermat. Coming off as shrewd and inquisitive. Nice. And Ensign Calloway was grateful for our help. We haven't done anything with Carter yet. Let's see. Controls. Uh, crouch, tricorder, phaser. All right. Modes. Okay. Resume. I'll let the captain brief you on board. I know he's eager to see you. Will we be mission ready in time? We have every intention. The crew has been working around the clock to get the ship ready. There's still so much to do. W. W. Ah, this must be Carter. <laughs> oh, that does not look good. <sighs> Stuck. Mm. I got just the thing. Yeah. Plasma torch. Uh. Plasma torch. Yes. Let's do it. Gameplay. <laughs> Vaporize that corrosion. In there. Top speed. <laughs> Got it. Corrosion vaporized. Pull that cell out. Click. Oh, there we go. We gotta wrench it around. Yes. Carefully now. W. 
it. And we're in. Lock it into place with a D and one of these. Is oh. that. Nice. The lower decks. Ah, oh, love lower decks. Ooh, I love that sound too. I thought the thing was totally fried. All right, this is pretty hype. Nice work, Carter. Nothing to it, Millie. And not a moment too soon. The boss wants us down in engineering, like now. Oh, let's get the engineering, like now. Follow Ed Salar to engineering. What's that? Let's run! Hurry! Wait, what's this stuff? <laughs> Come on! Oh. oh, these are heavier than they look. Makes more sense than zero G. You're welcome. So clean I can see myself. Then you know what? Carter Diaz. All right, the ladies get mad at me. All right, we're going, we're leaving. Sorry, I needed to help. Gotta help that lady with her probes. All right, we can't be any more late. You guys are gonna have to help yourselves over there. on the old turbo lift here. Engineering. I heard the new Exo just arrived. Won't be long before we get underway. I just hope whatever Chovok called us down for, it's something good. I can never tell with him. I'd rather not end up degaussing plasma manifolds. Uh, orders are Hanging orders. upside down makes me queasy. Orders are orders, Nilly. You know what they say? There are no small missions. Every expedition has a purpose. Even if we don't know what it is yet. Even if we don't. Looks like we got here before. Lieutenant Commander Chovak. We were just looking for you, Commander. Petty officers Ed Salar. Diaz. I was beginning to think you would be late. Us. We yeah. are all hands on deck right now. Which means if you are not at your post at the appointed time, I do not have someone to replace you. A point I have been forced to make to Petty Officer uh, Edsel sorry for on the repeated delay. occasions. Uh, apologies for the delay, Commander. I do not want your apologies. Simply see to it that it does not happen again. Oh, he didn't like that. So, I don't like suppose you wanted us down here to check like, in better. before... Carter. Okay. All right, he did like that. We, did we well. go off duty. We did well. Equip yourselves in EV suits to work on the exterior Ooh, of the hull. I need EV you to tune suits. the structural integrity field for optimal performance. The subspace distortions and ionic interference we are experiencing are preventing the proper calibration. But this ship must be ready to depart shortly, despite the storm. The precise nature of these disturbances are not fully understood. But many systems have been affected by the wide band of emissive activity. We'll be ready. Whatever it throws at us, we'll be ready. We've got the best chief engineer in the fleet. I am a Vulcan, Mr. Diaz. Flattery is not necessary. All that I require is that you do your job. Right now, that entails critical preparations, because long-range sensors show that these disturbances will yeah, be more sensors. severe at our destination. The Hotaru uh, system. I love it. You have your orders. Do not delay. Yes, Commander Chovak. Nice. We got our All orders. All hands on deck. Oh, what's that? All hands on deck. That's what Chovak said. You know what that means? It means this ship isn't ready to go out and the brass know it. So they're throwing every warm body at it. And they're going to leave on schedule. It all comes down to us, Nilly. We're the ones who will get it ready. It's on us, Neely. I know what we can it's do. It's on us. But this isn't just any old refit or any old relaunch. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. A 
lot of new faces coming on board. It's gotta be tough coming as a replacement. That's for sure. They seem all right. Something that happened six months ago I'm a nice guy. on another ship. I'm a nice guy. That's nothing to hold against them. Yeah, you're right. I guess getting a little new oh, blood on man, board doesn't hurt. Oh, man, we're hitting our 20-minute warning here. We're gonna have to cut it. Hold on. What? Now there's an old face I didn't expect to see again. Hey, Miranda. You weren't gonna leave without me, were you? Miranda, you're here? We thought you were staying on the Adirondack. Transfer came in at the last minute, so nice. I figured I'd slum it on this bucket of bolts. Oh, I hope she doesn't die. Looks like you got her back together pretty nicely. I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm gonna take the high road here, pretend you didn't say that, and welcome you aboard. <laughs> He's a better diplomat than I am. <laughs> he still owes me a bottle of Saurian brandy. Yeah, we'll Don't see about that, Miranda. Oh, yeah, it's coming back to me now. Maybe Carter can wrestle up that bottle and we can give you a proper welcome. As soon as we wrap up this quick little spacewalk. Spacewalk mission. Oh, yeah, here we go. But. Here, let me not help Not gonna happen now. Thanks. So what's the word? Are you back in the security rotation? Yep. Still running with the usual suspects. Whoa. Let's get to a good ending point here. Good to go. See you on the other side. Peace. Activating magnetic souls. Uh, activating magnetic souls. Here we go. Out. Into space. Next time. How do I stop this thing from doing anything? There we go. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me for the first 20 minutes or so of Star Trek Resurgence. Man, that was actually really cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this story is going to go. So we will continue on playing this. Uh, I'll try to stream it, record it, put it on YouTube, and uh, just keep this up. And hopefully we can get the sound right and any little tweaks we have to do over time. Uh, overall, it looks cool. Uh, you know, some of the animations are a little bit janky or whatever, but it looks great to me. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And we'll see, you know, what they choose to do if they release any kind of updates in the future, maybe to unlock the 30 FPS or whatever's going on with that. So, but that was fun. So everybody, thank you so much for hanging out. Tune in later on as we jump in and uh, play some more Star Trek Resurgence. Live long and prosper, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.